everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my siblings. This is Brittany and Alex Hi. and Quentin. And today I'm going to ask them some questions to get their perspective and point of view on what FA is. So the first question I have is what is it like having a sister with a disability? It's hard sometimes because whenever she was first diagnosed I was really young and I didn't understand why my sister just all of a sudden didn't have to go to school anymore. And I was kind of mad at her. But then, like, as I grew, I learned, like, to respect her for how strong she is. And um, that she's going through a lot. And she's in a lot of pain. So it's just best to support and comfort them. Yeah. Rather than, rather than be jealous. That's a good answer. Yeah, that's good. That's and just to clarify, I didn't stop going to school. I did online school, so I'm educated. But he was too young to yeah. understand. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, it's, it's, hard, it's different, different having a sister with a disability just because you worry more. I mean, right. you worry in general having a sister or a brother with just having a sister or a brother that's younger and them doing stupid stuff. But then, you know, if you have one with a disability, obviously you're more concerned about things happening and than being sick more often, but I mean, it's it's also the same too. I mean, she's still the same person. She yeah. has dis she has trouble doing stuff. So. Yeah. Um. Do you think mom and dad give me more attention because of FA? No. I don't think they give you any more attention than they give anyone else. But I mean, you obviously need special attention yes. because of the circumstances. We yeah. all know that Quentin's their favorite. Yeah. <laughs> it's not He's true. the only boy, so we get it. But no, I don't think she gets any yeah. more attention, or I think we just all know that she I feel needs like, help with yeah. certain things, so. I feel like we all get the same amount of attention, but the different. attention is different. different. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you worry about my future since F.A. is life shortening? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think when we first found out, we were all like super, That's, that, that yeah. was the thing that worried us the most, was yeah. that it was life shortening. But then you just have to think, like, all of our days are numbered, so we just have to focus on that you're here and that we're praying that there is a cure found soon and that, you know, you'll outlive all of us. Yeah. We're hoping for that. You do a lot more than, I feel like, some of other kids with FA. Like, I've heard stories about how they're, like, bedridden or, you know, wheelchair-bound. Like, she's not there yet. Not as progressed. And so, which it's is easy good. easy to see her like, right now in this can, stage. Yeah. It's a lot easier. So and hopefully like, they find yeah. a cure before she, or something to help before you get there. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah. And then the last question is, what is the hardest thing about having a sister with F.A.? I think I'm super protective of her. When she would hang out with her friends and I'd be like, okay, are you sure you're going to have someone that's going to help you walk or and do this and help you? Just in general, I'm really protective of her, so... That's one of the big things. I think it's hard seeing her in pain, and it's kind of like a roller coaster of emotions for her. Her ups and downs on her good days and her bad days, that's probably the hardest thing. Yeah, it's hard to see anyone suffer, like any of my siblings suffer, but just knowing that she has something that's debilitating every day is hard to watch. But it's also like, I'm super proud of her, so it's like you watch her every day and you're sad for her and you hurt that she's hurting, you know, in a physical or emotional way, but she literally wakes up every morning with this giant basket of sour lemons and makes lemonade every day with it, so it's awesome, and just to see her, like, do that, and we're super proud of her, so yeah. it's a sad and a proud thing, but I think we're more proud than sad because yeah. she's awesome. So now we're going to answer some fun questions so you can get to know a little bit about each of us and our relationship. What is the age gap between everyone? So I'm old. <laughs> I'm 31. I'm 28. I'm 19. I'm 17. So, yeah, so there's a nine year age gap yeah. between me and her. Yeah, are you closer now or when you were younger? No, I think definitely now. now. Yeah. Um, who has the best sense of style? Madeline. Yeah. I would say Brittany. 
Um, not today. <laughs> I would say Madeline on a normal basis. Madeline. Um, do you guys text a lot? Keep in contact? Yes, we yeah. text like yeah. every day. Um, uh, who's the most talented? I'm just kidding, Quentin. Yeah, Quentin. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we all have our own talents. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Who's the most talented? Sport yeah. talent for sure, Quentin. Like athletic? Yeah. Quentin. Yeah. Um, who has the best singing voice? Brittany. Brittany. Um, who's the most humble? <laughs> Not Quentin. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Madeline. Yeah, I mean, it, Madeline, it, yeah. Like I said, yeah. you you have this giant basket of sour lemons and you, you, you've made sweetness out of those. I mean, yeah. Life has handed you a lot of hard stuff. I really, life has handed our family a lot of hard stuff. Yeah. I think we've all yeah. handled it gracefully, but yeah. you have to do that every day. So I would give that one to you. Aww. Who's the most talkative? I don't know. We all talk a lot, but I think Alex yeah. is probably. I mean, in high school, I got superlative. I was the most talkative in high school. That like, was a humble question. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. But I think yeah. we all like to talk. I yeah. mean, we come from Charlotte Davis' family, so yeah. like, we're all super talkative. What's your favorite game to play together? Think yeah, Mad Gap. Yeah. Uh, Cards Against Humanity. Cards Against Humanity. Apples, That's probably apples. the best one. Yeah. Um, or Mexican Dream. Mm. For sure. Yeah. Uh, Who's just the quietest? You? You're, you're quiet you. sometimes too. If you're not comfortable with people yet, you're mm -hmm. pretty yeah. quiet. I feel like I'm pretty shy at first. Yeah. What is the weirdest hab habit your siblings have? One of the weirdest habits you're supposed to She that. grinds her teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not a habit That's because not a habit. I'm not aware of that. <laughs> yeah, but you can control it. No, I can't. Wear your retainer. <laughs> True. He not bites me. his nails. Yep. Yes. You don't really know, you know. I, I do the thing with my nose. Oh, yeah. You, uh, like, make a face. Yeah. Flare your nostrils. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and that. I don't. I have weird habits that if people get off the couch, I have to fix the pillows. It's just yeah. a OCD thing. It bothers me. Who is the most immature sibling? <laughs> Who's the most mature sibling? I don't know. I would me? Mm -hmm. I really? mean, you're because you're an old soul. Oh, yeah. Which sibling would you call if you needed to be bailed out of jail? Well, Quentin would be the one in jail, so y'all could call me. I'll come yeah. you out. Who is the most likely to get <laughs> knocked up? Alex. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. Now I have two little boys. And they're so cute. Yes. Biggest lie your sibling ever told your parents? Ooh, well, all the lies are out now, but I'm sure we kept a couple secrets for a while. Yeah. I think the only one is that you had a tattoo. Yeah. And I didn't tell mom. And that Alex was pregnant before we left. Oh, home, yeah. So I was the first one to know that. And then you. And mm -hmm. then... <laughs> Who's most likely to snitch? I don't. I think we all keep secrets. Yeah, all, but no, I'm not. If I snitch, it it's mom. by accident. No, today, she's pretty good at keeping secrets. Though. Today, yeah. I had no idea. Oh, what happened today? Yeah. Not seen okay. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get off, and he's gonna have to tell us what happened because now we have to know because she opened her mouth. See. Yeah. So about. apparently, I am the snitch. <laughs> but she doesn't mean to be. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like or a thumbs up. And thank you all for being on my channel. Of course. For having you. And subscribe if you want to see more. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Brittany. I'm Alex. doing it again. I'm doing it. <laughs> She's going to take so long. <laughs> this is never gonna happen. I mean, I thought that you was so much flavors at the end. I just, I don't think I can look at the camera because I think I'm just laughing because of all of us. <laughs> can y'all shut up? Why are y'all laughing? <laughs> That's mean! <laughs> Wait, are we recording? <laughs> yes. Yeah. She's gonna edit all this out. Oh, okay. I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and look pretty. You have to talk. People are gonna think you're mute. <laughs> <laughs>